At the bottom of League Two, Neil's team were one of three from the region who went into the final match knowing only victory would guarantee them avoiding relegation from the Football League. Hello, and our Division Two match this afternoon. An invasion of South East London. It is the club of clubs, the brotherhood of 92, the Football League. Down in its lower reaches lay three clubs from far-flung corners of the capital, and one could go. Forced down through the sluice gate at the bottom of League Two, sent to that dark place, non-league football. And who might fall on this last Saturday? On the storyboard of his life, Edgar Davids can record many grand teams. Holland, Ajax, AC Milan, Juventus Barcelona, Inter Milan, Spurs. A player that once sailed among the stars, now scrapping in the bilges with Barnet. Davids the novice here. Barnet like barnacles, apparently at home down here, for the fourth year in a row, fighting to stay up. Neil Adley once knew high times as a player, with Wimbledon in the Premier League, now a boss in the bowels with AFC Wimbledon, the club once sent down into limbo that rose again, would they fall again? Dagenham and Redbridge, in free fall ever since manager John Still left them for Luton in February. Loyal servant Wayne Burnett, with vast experience as a player throughout the Football League, but suddenly a caretaker manager scrambling to avoid its cruel annual sacrifice. Burnett, Ardley, Davids, united as managers on the last Saturday when all three had to win to be certain of safety. Could all three stay in the football league? For two, possibly all three, sheer relief, the wonder of survival. For one, perhaps, the despair of the drop. to take the lead and it's a good save from Graham Stack. Flicks it on, here's Josh Scott going through, he's pushed it too far, oh, it's a good sliding tackle. Flat into the post, a flick and a header, it's a bundled off the line. Corner into the middle, flick header, palmed into the air by the keeper, it's bouncing around inside the six yard box. Hyde oh, plays the ball through, Marsh Brown is onside here, if he squares the ball gap it's completely in, why did he square the ball? Curls it into the far post. Oh, what an effort! Sammy Moore then, right footed, lifts it into the air, a head cut, flick header, finds the target! And Wimbledon have taken the lead! It's a corner for Fleetwood, played into the middle, and Wimbledon have thrown away the lead just moments after grabbing it. Ball's bouncing about, let's oh. go for York City! Here comes Northampton, it's a great chance here, he plays the ball in, it's a chance for Northampton to take the lead! And they have! Sanu's there, comes in the middle, goes down, penalty to Wimbledon, Mitchell comes up, right foot in, he struck it out, Wimbledon lead! They've just got to hang on and not throw it all away again! Plays a lovely ball, shot's going to come in, it's 2-0, Burnham in desperate trouble! Smashes it across the goal, oh, Jakey Hyde should have scored, should have scored! Three minutes of stoppage time, the ball was in the area, cleared down to the edge of the box. Oh, oh, what a strike, what a save! Referee says that'll do, and at the moment, Dagenham and Redbridge are still up. There is the final whistle here at Sixfield. Barnet have been beaten, we're just waiting on confirmation from Wimbledon Fleetwood. Pry just looks at the corner flag, and the referee blows the final whistle, and Wimbledon have done it! Dagenham and Redbridge are staying in the Football League. It's no secret that to get three points out of a possible 36 early on, you know, you give yourself a mountain to climb.
be honest, I didn't really know until the last five minutes when I went to take a throw and someone told me why not we're losing 2 0 with five minutes left, so that's what I knew. The character since I've been here from the lads has been unbelievable and to bounce back and we oh like it was a penalty, we deserved that win. We needed to get the three points and that was our objective. And if you don't then uh, yeah you you have to face the music. It's nearly as good as getting promoted at Wembley, it really is because at the end of the day no one wants to drop out of the football league. We kept going, we kept going, the fans got behind us and this club should be in this league at least, you know, it's a great club and I'm buzzing, I'm absolutely buzzing. We have to work hard again and uh, it's a setback but not one uh, that we can't overcome. I've had the longest week in my life, I'll be honest with you, I've had no sleep and you know, I'll sleep well tonight and uh, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted, I really am. We do it the way Wimbledon do it and that's not, not by any stretch of the imagination easy so it's mixed emotions when it happens. You could have heard a pin drop when it went in, but showed the character and come back again. Unbelievable. You reckon you slept like a baby after that. <laughs> How on earth did that happen? I mean, that must have been just so stressful. The yeah. entire day, the week. Yeah, it's, it's a really long week. Um, you know, after we'd done a great fight back at Gillingham, um, we knew it could be in our hands, we knew that, that mathematically we just had to win and uh, we wanted the game to come around quick, it's been a painful, painful week. So you just managed to stay up, but you must have considered if you'd have gone down it would have been a very different scenario financially. What would it have meant for your club? Um, I think the club's been run sensibly over the years, you know, it's a fantastic club where they've come from. Um, I just think it, you know, for us to, to kick on and, and really you know, we've got Plough Lane in the background, we're trying to get back to there and things like this would, would make a big difference to, to stabilising. For me, it will make a huge difference to be able to really try and take it on. You know, going back down the league would have made that really tough. It's a relief for you, Neil, but for Edgar Davids, Mark, yeah. very different tale. They have gone down to non-league. What will this mean for them? Oh, I mean, it's, it's massive for them, isn't it, moving to the Hive? Um, they went down with 51 points. They went down on goal difference in the end. You know, 51 points is their best return for four seasons. You know, they would have been enough to survive last year. The, the irony of it is they've beat five teams, I think, who finished in the top seven. So, you know, they just haven't had that consistency um, to stay up. And having flirted with it for the last three years, go, going down, I think most people will probably say, well, they, the warning signs are there. They haven't heeded them. Yeah, you took over during the season, Neil, as did well, Wayne Burnett, as did Edgar Davids, of course. Just how difficult a job was that for him? Bearing in mind, of course, he came in with Mark Robson at the same time. Yeah, uh, they, they had a massive turnaround at the start of the season. I think um, you heard Graham Stack saying about three, three points out of 36. Yeah. And they, um, you looked at them and you thought it was going to be who would go down with them uh, early in the season. And then all of a sudden, Edgar Davids started picking up some results. They were playing some really good football. And you started thinking, Jesus, you know, the, this team could could get out of this and, and you know there was a lot of teams in the mix at that point. I saw the relief mark there on uh, Wayne Burnett's yeah. face. They, they lost but they just managed to stay up but how do they avoid being in this kind of position again next year? Recruitment. It's got about, about recruitment. I mean Wayne's been there long enough. He knows that in the summer it's going to be absolutely crucial to try and get the players in to get themselves away from this danger zone because I have to admit John Steele leaving, um, John Steele leaving and going to Luton and, and they just survived on the last day, you know. It's not, it doesn't bode well, and um, not for the confidence of the fans either. So he's got to recruit better in the summer, and, um, and hopefully he'll have a better season. But, I mean, skin and teeth job. Oh Goal difference. Yeah, he'll need to find a few more rough diamonds, just like John still Absolutely. managed to do as well.